Now in their 70s, the stars of Zeffirelli's iconic 1968 Romeo and Juliet were only 15 and 16 when they played Shakespeare's star-crossed lovers. And now they are suing Paramount for sexual abuse, sexual harassment and fraud, asking for more than $500 million in damages. Olivia Hussey and Leonard Whiting's story is one of two teenagers manipulated. They said they were originally reassured there would be no actual nudity and that they would wear flesh-coloured underwear, but that during filming, Zeffirelli had said that the film would fail without the nude scenes. The suit even asserts that the actors were secretly filmed. Defendants were dishonest and secretly filmed the nude or partially nude minor children without their knowledge, in violation of the state and federal laws regulating indecency and exploitation of minors for profit. The scene in question features both bare breasts and buttocks. Paramount Pictures is yet to respond publicly to the lawsuit. Both actors won Golden Globes for their performances, but have had limited professional success in the five decades since the film's first release. The film itself won two Oscars and has come to be seen as the definitive adaptation of the iconic Shakespearean tragedy. Zeffirelli himself died in 2019 and the lawsuit was filed last Friday in Los Angeles. Many historical child sex abuse cases were filed in California around this time as the end of 2022 marked the end of a temporary waiver on statutes of limitation.